Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Mando coming at y'all with another video. As y'all seen by the title, we got another review today. This one's coming from PoorKick.shop. All their information will be in the description, as it is right here on screen. And discount code Mando is gonna get y'all fifteen dollars off. So, if you watch the review, you think they got high quality stuff, you like the products, check them out. Go cop something if you want. Code Mando is gonna save you fifteen. So let's go ahead and get into this review without wasting any more time, and let me know what y'all think. Also, I want to know what you guys think of these reviews in general. I know there's kind of been a good amount of them on the channel. So if you guys aren't really feeling them, then I'll definitely cut them down. But open to opinions always. So let's do it. All right. So once again, quick shout out to 4kick.shop. All their stuff's in the description. But let's go ahead and get into this. If you guys saw the other review, you kind of should know what to expect when it comes to the Dior's. But we can compare them, you know. The other one was pretty high quality. So I'm excited to see how these compare. First off, the box is pretty good. Got that nice texture there. You can feel it. Dior on the top, a little bit different texture, kind of. This is like scaly, and then it's a little bit smooth, even though it has that same texture printed on, but it feels smooth. But yeah, that's the box. Comes with this gift bag as well. I'll still fold it up there, but gift bag. Got the little logos inside. Nothing too crazy, but it's cool that it comes with it. It has a lot of different accessories. If you guys watched the last one, you'd know. Dust bag as well with this kind of it's not printed on but it's like it's hard to explain the lettering it's kind of like a plastic almost but yeah cool that it comes with some extra accessories i mean you can never complain about that some extra black laces and then i don't know what the fuck this shit is but i think that's like a, this is like a receipt i'm pretty sure if you can open this up let's take a look i don't know it's all in chinese anyway so the fuck's it matter to me Y'all read that? So I can't. But yeah, get into the shoe. Got a Dior paper. Nice little golden logo. But let's pop these open and get to what we're here for. Uh, there they are. Wrapped in plastic. Keeping the box fresh. Move that to the side. And let's open these up. Voila. So yeah, off of first impressions, they're looking pretty clean. Nice black shoe. I like wearing black, but it has the you know the subtle hints of that kind of gray, but could also pass as white. Kind of reminds me of some the Travis's I have, the Travis Lowe's, if you guys know what I'm talking about. All black, like the white on it. Kind of gives those vibes. But yeah, off of first look, I'm rocking with them. Like I said, it's all black shoe, easy to match with almost anything. Kind of just like an everyday type of wear. Pop this out, take a look at the insoles. There we go. There's the inside, simple, just Dior right there. I think that says what, made in Italy. I don't know if you guys can, there you go. Made in Italy. Dior on the tag, the B30 model. It's kind of like a puffy material, almost. On the back, it's that same type of puffy, like plastic. Kind of reminds me of the stuff that used to be on. I think I was talking like the Skecher shoes or some shit. It's like that puffy. You gotta like feel it to know what I'm talking about. It's like a super specific material. Maybe you could tell on camera, but I don't know. But yeah, CD logo, Dior logo right here. It has this suede across this. This part is mesh. Mesh over here and on the upper. And it kind of, like I said, has that suede paneling around it, kind of covering the mesh. So it should be a pretty comfortable shoe considering that this is mostly mesh. Pretty cool uh, soul tread here as well. Christian Dior logo here, Dior logo there, and then the B30 for the name of the model down there. So that's pretty unique there. Make like a cool Instagram flick, step in the sand, CD, right? That'd be pretty tough. I just gave myself an idea. I'm finna do that. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, not too much to the shoe. Like I said, very simplistic shoe, just cause it's all black, but some clean cuts and lines. I like the paneling, you know, it's a lot of, like it's simple, but there's still a lot to it. Cause you know, it's kind of got all these lines going. This one comes through the lace line. We got this one around the eyelets and then the CD kind of plays into it too. If you see here, the D kind of wraps around and plays into that. The C goes in this line here. So, I mean, a lot of cuts and lines and paneling across the whole shoe, but I like it, you know, it kind of gives it that little bit of pop that it needs. I feel like with just like the CD logo, it'd be kind of plain. So adding that makes it pretty cool. You got down here these like kind of ridges as well. Give it a little bit extra of that design. 
Make a fucking ASMR channel over here, eh? But yeah, let me know what you guys think of these. I'm gonna go grab the other pair just to compare them. And then I'll grab the Travis's too, because I feel like those would look cool side by side, so let's see. All right, we're back with an array of shoes here. But this is the other pair that I got. Kind of see them side by side here. Obviously look pretty similar. I think there's some small differences. I think like the C C D is a little bit lower on this one than it is on this one, unless I'm tripping. Let's see. What do you guys think? Am I tripping? Maybe I'm tripping. Nah, let's hold on. This one's like this one's less than a thumbs width. This one's like a thumbs width. So yeah, this one's like higher up. But I mean for the most part. I would say they're about the same. The tongue, the tongue's a little bigger on this one. Unless these, actually I think these are just not laced up right. So yeah, they're basically the same. And then this is the Travis I was talking about right here. You could see the glaring similarities. So I mean, it's maybe, I was, I was gonna say it's a budget version of the Travis's, but probably honestly cost fucking more than the Travis's actually now that I think about it. Forgot these are Dior for a second. It's probably like 1200. But I mean, of course these are, reps so you're gonna play 150 be a pretty pretty good alternative there i think i like the travis's a bit more but these are still nice come with a dior tag as well little tag up here so i think we check this one same thing on the insole here laces are just plain black laces outsole little dior tag we got the size on the insole yeah Something's up with this tongue. It's not moving. I think it's because of the way it's laced, but size tag is on the inside. If you guys can, can see right there, kind of. But yeah, shout out to uh, four kick dot shop. Wait, is that the right? Hold on. I thought they had the wrong website. No, four kick dot shop for these. Shout out to them. Let me know what y'all think. And go check them out if you like them. Here's how they looking on foot. Don't mind the white socks. I'd probably go black with these, but I had a different pair of sneakers on before this. So let me know what y'all think. I would say when you crease them, it kind of hurt the toes. You definitely need some breaking time. I think that tongue is a little bit shorter than the other pair, but other than that, they pretty cool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you like those shoes, you can go check out 4kick.shop. I appreciate them sending these out. But that's all I got for y'all today. Make sure to like and subscribe and be good.